Today we're studying, we're interviewing a guy who actually is studying to organize this event. Can you tell us your name, sir? My name is Mar Kuru Mayol. I'm from South Sudan and I'm from Sudan community. What are we here today, Mark? We are here today to, to, to celebrate the unity of Badan people. We invited all our members across the United States to come together to Iowa. And this is the first time for us to come together as a community, the people of Adan. We want our, our, our people, wherever they are, to know that Adan people have woke up. And we woke up to fight for the unity. And we woke up to fight for peace. If Adan community has peace, the rest of South Sudanese community should have peace. So how long will this event take place? This event will last only for two days. We started today on Saturday and it will finish tomorrow on Sunday. What, what would you like people to know about this event? We need uh, our people in, 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 in Padang community, wherever they are, here in the United States, in Canada, in Australia, and in Eastern Africa to know that Padang people are now coming together to unite under one umbrella called the Yin Padan community in North America. Right. So we would like to send our message, a message of peace, a message of unity, and a message of love. What did you need to do with community coverage? Community coverage. We will support people who know that you can't get it to market it. You know, you can get it. Padang community maintain the gap between Padang and the rest of China. Uh, and will we be Padang Loi to be the level of the rest of the national society? First, a guru can make a gap in town. Kemka, Koko. A book of them, a guru that was a kid. I ran the Salam, did that to wait here. But the career of the Jalu by the Tibongos. In Kenyan, Padang community is a very unique community that have very prominent leaders, leaders over the world like Francis Medingading, I think you guys know about him. Uh, he's one of the Padang community. There are some of the uh, unique leaders that are there. So we are coming together uh, to make sure that our community is prosperous and peaceful. Uh, can you tell us your name, sir? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, my name is uh, James Akotri here. Uh, I came from Canada uh, to, to come and share with our brothers in the United States, uh, particularly for this conference that uh, took her place for these two days. Uh, that came here, we have our young children who have not seen, who are not defined the word for that. Today, that it's our duty to translate them. And you know, it's beautiful to, to, to share that with them. When they hear with their mother, they know why they're here, what brought them here. When they go back home, they will go to school tomorrow, and they will tell their friends. We were yesterday in the meeting, and the meeting is for Pada, and the meeting is for unity of Pada. And I am Pada. That's what I want to tell these people. And those who came from other the community who are attended, who are So thank you to them. And So today we're here with Marsabol and how are you doing today? Good. So we have a, a question for you. What would you 
like the leaders of South Sudan to know about the Bhutan community and about this event? Yes, uh, well, thank you for your question. The one I want them, I want them to know Aparang is a part of our South Sudan community and Aparang is a one nation of the South Sudan tribe. Yes, and we're so proud to do this event with all Aparang together because we know the unity is the only key for success if you want to move on or if you want to take another step for your nation or for your leadership. So the what I want from our leadership, I want them to look down and see what they wanna leave for the young kids to pick them up and they will know what kind of legacy of our leader leaving for our nation one day if they leave the country or if they go because you cannot stay for ever. Something is gonna happen, you will get sick that you will get anything you will leave the share one day. But what things you can do for your young generation to continue after you, to let your legacy continue, that is what I want. And I want them too, to know, without them, those kids, they can know anything. They are leaders, they are parents for those kids. And those kids, they didn't know anything. If the parents didn't sit down with them and tell them what is going on in the community or what is going on in South Sudan. Yes, because without parents, kids, they didn't know nothing. And without kids, the parents, they cannot leave legacy for anything. They leave it just only for the kids. And I want them to love South Sudan, leave the good legacy for South Sudan, take care of our young generation, and tell them, leave anything back. And now we move it forward for our new country. And we are doing good now, nothing back. South Sudan is a South Sudan, and South Sudan is growing every day and night. And I'm really so proud to be a South Sudan, even all my family. And I will say, I love you, South Sudan, and I love you until the end. Thank you. Thank you See so you much for your time. time. More excited than, uh, than I can express my, my excitement at this moment. So I'm so glad to be here. Decided to see the black coming together for the one time in North America. Even though there's no many people that come from Canada, but I feel if I come with my friend, I come with my friend, that means so we represent Canada in general. So, and I'm so glad our brother and sister in Canada will watch this video or interview and they will be excited and supportive to the friends gathering in North America, especially in this world. What would you like the South Sudan community to know about the uh, What I would like South Sudanese to know about Jim Padang in North America uh, to know that Padang and Jim community are a very peaceful community. They are part of South Sudanese people also. And we need support them. We need, we need them to support us and then we can support them. And then we can work together as South Sudanese community in North America what would you like the leaders to know about the leaders of South Sudan? Uh, the leader of South Sudan has to know that Padang is a part of South Sudan. Uh, uh, they are really willing, uh, really, really happy to be part of South Sudan and they are so proud to be part of South Sudan. So they have to know that we are a peaceful nation. We share with these people. But um, we live in South Sudan in a very rich area. Which, uh, like, such, uh, for example, in the unity there is a royal and the land is good for the uh, agriculture and whatever. And we have animals also. We are in the East and uh, But uh, the East and I live in a very rich area also. But we do believe that uh, whatever we have in our land, the oil, the resources that we have, are not only belong to us and you, but uh, as long as we are part of South Sudanese, so we can share that with our other South Sudanese people as brothers and sisters, and they have the same right as we do. We are so happy to be to be sharing anything that uh, we have, in, uh, and, and then they have to respect us also, and we have to respect them, no matter what we are part of the, the South Sudanese nation. We are so blessed to be in that land and to be part of South Sudanese. It's my pleasure that. 
I was able to be in this event. It is very important to me and to the Padang generation that are in the United States, South Sudan, and around the world. It is a magnificent time. It is a big day. And we danced, we did a lot of good things. Uh, the level of excitement is unimaginable. I cannot even imagine uh, or underestimate that excitement. People came from a long distance, and I do appreciate the time and their energy. We have two brothers that made it all the way from Canada, all the way to Des Moines, Iowa, to attend the event. We have people, a group of dedicated young men from Texas who came here for this event. We have people from the East Coast and all over the United States that came for this day. So my excitement to see my old colleagues and family. I have a young guy who cried today. A very patriotic man. He cried with emotion because he was able to see the dance. I dance a lot today and a lot of people, a lot of you will see me on the video, dancing, real, real music, real Kadam stuff. So you asked me for a level of excitement. Man, I'm thrilled, so to be honest. Thrilled. Well, thank I'm you very much. And I wish Kadam to always uh, keep that energy. So if I can just point out three things, four things that we need as Kadam. Number one, we must unite. We need the unity. And the lubricant for the unity is love. We need love. We need to love one another. Second, we need courage. Every young fada, woman and child, must have a courage. Because courage, it will give you the, the energy and the focus and dedication to be able to do something bigger. As for down, young men and women and children, uh, girls, we need to have commitment because commitment is the backbone of everything. We need good communication ourselves but most of all, we need forgiveness to forgive ourselves and go beyond our differences. Uh, so I do appreciate the time. And not to forget, my name is Abiel Nilwal Michar. And I'm in the Padang. I'm from Padang. And it's all main, main thing. When the buy, when one end, when the buy, when the money, 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 I did walk. I did walk. I did walk. I did walk. I I Juba, Matana, a care of your two woody, to one in Higa Catacalati, to one leg a cake camp. A chica ben a chica, a chica ben a chica puma ben wing. A chia puma gave ben palo emen, quite a dear little yum. Matani, Juba, 
We're here today at Padang Community uh, Conference. Uh, one of the members is here today, and he's going to tell us his name. What is your name, sir? Uh, my name is Miyako Larok Dudi. Okay. And where are you from, sir? I'm originally uh, from uh, Padang Community in general, and in particular, I'm from uh, Ruwing Estate and uh, from Padang Ngir uh, uh, Ngir. Okay. This is the first time Padang has hosted an event here in the state of Iowa. What is your level of excitement regarding the event taking place today? I'm really very, you know, uh, when I heard it, you know, I couldn't even sleep that night because I was so really very excited to come and, and see this event because when it comes to the unity, I'm a unity ambassador, I like, you, I like people to unite, I like people to come together and this is what, always, all the time, this is what I've been, you know, fighting for. Okay. What would you like the South Sudanese community to know about this Padang event that's taking place today? You know, uh, South Sudanese leaders and Sudanese, I'm not just addressing leaders here, but I'm just addressing the whole Sudan, the whole Sudan, people of Sudan. That when people, as I said it so many times, is that, you know, I would like if all the communities, they come together in love and they unite together and they discuss, you know, what are their problems and they become to know 
that unity is a power. And that's what I, I, I'm not saying that this thing should just stay here in the uh, Padang community. I wish that this, is, this, uh, this gathering shall be for the whole country, which is South Sudan people, you know, to gather together. And uh, what happened here is because, uh, first of all, they address their cultures, you know. I was crying when I heard, you know, the, the drums and people dancing and all this. I could not even help it because it reminded me the time, you know, when South Sudan was great and, you know, in, uh, in particular in Bantu where we go to, to see these events like dancing. I saw this here. This is very good. So also, you know, addressing the culture to the young people, to the young generation. I've seen a lot of children now. They become excited. They want to know their culture. This is very good. So this event was actually is a is is a is a cultural uh, awareness to the young people and uh, and reminding us to the people who have been away for a long time from their cultures. Well, thank you very much, sir. This I have a last question here. Are you looking forward to Padang community in general to come together again? And when do you think uh, that will take place? You know, to me, I'm very excited. And I said it inside that, you know, I wish to see this every time, if as soon as it can. You know, gathering is a family thing. It's very good, you know. And also, you know, Padang community. Uh, people who don't know about Padang community, I want to take this opportunity to let people. Padang community is a community that, you know, is a spread along the Nile in South Sudan. Padang, they share uh, cities with, uh, with Nuer, with Shuluk. So what is good thing about Padang people, they are very uh, loving people that they can, you know, they can, and peaceful people too. They like to be with other communities. They embrace other communities. Padang people, they are very good people to be around. All right, thank you very much, sir. This is all the time we have. God bless